Hey, this morning, laser strikes like the one aimed at a Metro Police aircraft this weekend have surged to a record high. Last year alone, the number of reported instances increased by over 55 percent. Ali Lynch spoke with an expert about this alarming trend and is here now with that insight. Well, Nicole, good morning. In 2023, the FAA tracked more than 13,000 laser strikes across the country, shattering previous records. One of the latest incidents happened right here in Nashville. Metro Police just releasing this video showing their helicopter on Nolensville Pike responding to street racers when a green light suddenly blinded the pilots in the cockpit. Police say they arrested 21 year old Jose Sanchez, who's accused of shining the laser. He now faces two counts of aggravated assault. This year, from January 1st to July 31st, there were over 7,000 laser incidents reported to the FAA. According to Patrick Murphy with laserpointersafety.com, if this rate continues, there would be nearly 15,000 incidents in 2024. Murphy says all pilots should know how to recognize and recover from a laser situation, although they are not required any formal training. I do think that most pilots nowadays are aware of the laser light and the fact that it's just a bright light in their eyes. And so if they try to overcome that, um, then the plane is not going to have adverse consequences. Um, but there's no real training, unfortunately, which is something that we have tried to say to FAA. They need to be trained in a simulator. And shining a laser at an aircraft has been a felony crime since 2012. The maximum penalty is five years in federal prison and a fine of up to $250,000. The FAA can also impose civil penalties of up to $11,000 per violation. Nicole.